For years, KET has brought together voices on the front lines of battling addiction and provided in-depth discussions on policies that seek to make a difference and save lives. With all the work that's been done, there is still much to do. Overdose rates have continued to climb since 2012, reaching a peak last year by taking over 1,500 lives. Some projections show half a million Americans could lose their lives to opioids in the next decade if changes aren't made. Families, communities, and citizens across our country are currently dealing with the worst drug crisis in American history. The issue has raised alarms at the highest levels of government. Congress has moved on legislation to combat the epidemic. CARA and the Cures Act will provide over a billion dollars nationwide for solutions. By increasing prevention, treatment, recovery, and law enforcement tools, CARA can help prevent more people from struggling with addiction to begin with, and it can help foster long-term healing for those already struggling with addiction. The federal laws streamline the process to get new treatments to market, provide funding for improving drug monitoring programs, and making treatment more accessible to those in need. In many ways, Kentucky is a national pace setter in fighting addiction. Finding answers is at the forefront of leaders' minds. The opiate addiction is, is real. It's systemic throughout this state and beyond. It is a scourge that we have got to fight with everything in us. In 2012, the Kentucky General Assembly passed House Bill 1, setting standards for dispensing prescription drugs and requiring reporting with the state drug monitoring system called CASPER. The system was the first online drug monitoring program in the nation and has helped to bring opioid prescribing rates down in the state. We run the pill mills out by enacting tough, strong legislation and we ensure that they don't come back. Senate Bill 192 from the 2015 Kentucky General Assembly and the creation of Operation Synthetic Opioid Surge by United States Attorney General Jeff Sessions have increased law enforcement efforts to tackle drug distributors. We're preventing addiction from spreading. We're saving lives by remo removing drug dealers from our community. That's what is, is at stake in our work. That is why we are attacking the gangs and the cartels. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The Legislative can. remedies are only part of the solution. A recent Kentucky Health Issues poll by the Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky found that 7 in 10 Kentuckians view addiction as a disease, and everyday citizens are working to save lives and find solutions. Every student in Kentucky is classified at risk for being exposed to, uh, to the substance abuse problem. We want to develop leadership. We want to give them uh, the tools that they need for refusal. When we begin to simply judge others... If God has put me in this ministry for almost 20 years to save one soul, it was worth it. Communities are taking action too. Coalitions are working to raise awareness and serve where the government doesn't. According to state health officials, syringe exchange programs have opened in 43 Kentucky counties. And naloxone is available for first responders to reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. Drug courts and jails are working to manage the unique circumstances presented to those living with a substance use disorder. Treatment programs across the state are trying to help people get clean and live a drug-free life. KET has followed these people and told their stories as Kentucky looks for solutions to one of its most devastating problems. There is no one road to recovery. We need all the tools at our disposal that we can have, and we need to tailor people's treatment to the individual what is most likely to work for them.